Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is your lecture 5 in the writing course. And the title of this lecture or the focus is Describe a favorite place. So, uh, this is a, a lecture that follows lecture 4, the same focus. The lecture components for today are grammar first, we will study adverbs, and we also have something about strategies and conventions, organization from general to specific, and we will discuss these in detail. As for writing, we will talk about descriptive writing. First, let's talk about adverbs, the grammar component in this lecture. What's an adverb and what does it do? An adverb gives or adds more to the meaning of a verb or an adjective or another adverb. For example, I called you last night. Last night is an adverb, adverb of time, and it tells us more about the verb call, called. I called, verb, when did I call you? Time, last night. Another, ad another sentence, your dress is very beautiful. Now, the adverb is very, very is an adverb that gives more or adds more to the meaning of the adjective beautiful so your address is not only beautiful it's very beautiful the rain stopped quite suddenly the rain stopped suddenly but we have another adverb quite so we have two adverbs here the rain stopped suddenly. Suddenly is an adverb. And quiet is another adverb. An adverb adding to the meaning of another adverb. She's watching them carefully. She's watching them how? Carefully. So the verb is watching. And how is she watching them? Carefully. Carefully is the adverb that adds more to the meaning of the verb watching. I sometimes go shopping with my parents. I go shopping with my parents. I go shopping every day. I go shopping once a week. But in this sentence, I sometimes go shopping. So the verb go is modified or made clearer by the adverb sometimes. Sometimes is an adverb. We will study these adverbs in detail today. So, there are different types of adverbs as you have seen from the examples on the previous slide. The first type is the adverb of time. And the adverb of time shows when when an action or something is done or happens. It answers the question when and it is either placed at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. So the adverb of place, adverb of time goes at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. Examples. I phoned you when yesterday. I saw her walking along the river when last week. Now in these two examples you can take the adverb of time and place it at the beginning of the sentence. So you can say yesterday I found you. Last week I saw her walking along the river. So this is type 1. Now, for type 2, adverb of place. 
So this adverb, our kind of adverb, shows where an action or something is done or happens. It's about the place. It answers the question where. And it is placed after the verb. This adverb comes after the verb in a sentence. Let's see some examples. Example one, I live here. I live here. Where is the verb? The verb is live. And the adverb here comes after the verb. He fell down. He fell down. The verb is fell and the adverb is down. Type three adverb of manner. What do we mean by manner? This kind of adverb shows how, not when or where, how an action or something is done. So it answers the question how. And it is usually placed just after the verb. Examples. She sleeps soundly. How does she sleep? Soundly. He drives. How does he drive? Quickly. So, soundly and quickly are adverbs of manner because they describe how the verb happens. Sleeps soundly. Drives quickly. Type 4 adverb of degree or quantity degree or quantity degree we mean to what degree for example beautiful very beautiful not only beautiful very beautiful or how much quantity how much okay and this kind of adverb is usually placed before before the adjective or the adverb Let's see some examples. It's dark. It's not only dark. It's too dark for us to see anything. Too is an adverb of degree. It's like very. It's very dark. Here, it's too dark for us to see anything. We cannot see anything because of the dark. So, to is an adverb, and dark is an adjective. So, to modifies the adjective dark. Last night, it rained heavily. Not only heavily, very heavily. So, very is an adverb of degree. It rained heavily but very heavily it means more the fifth type of adverb is the adverb of frequency and this answers the question how often what do we mean by how often for example when you say I visit my friends once a week I go to Mecca once a year. I always wake up at 7 o'clock. I sometimes wake up at 7 o'clock. So, and we studied these adverbs in a previous lecture. Examples on the adverbs of frequency. He will never finish in time. He will finish in time. No, never. Negative. He will never finish in time. You see, never comes before the verb finish. Another example. We always go to school by bus. Every day. We always go to school by bus. You can say, we sometimes go to school by bus. And sometimes by car. Okay? Now let's do an exercise on the types of adverbs. 
and the exercise is on page 70 in your books number one is already done it's not sunny it's really sunny it's really sunny not only sunny it's really sunny very sunny people in the park are walking slowly where is the adverb slowly the adverb is slowly adverb of manner how are they walking they are walking slowly no people in the park are walking quickly the opposite of slowly not slowly quickly number three a man is painting very carelessly very carelessly you remember these sentences from the previous lecture we studied them in the previous lecture a man is painting how is he painting carelessly no a man is painting very carefully carefully so carefully and carelessly have opposite meanings they are not the same number four an old man and a tall woman are talking and laughing how are they talking and laughing quietly quietly no they are talking and laughing loudly quietly is the opposite of loudly you can see the three adverbs in number two slowly and quickly in number three carelessly and carefully in number four quietly and loudly all these are adverbs of manner how the verb is done or the action happens number five a brother and sister are playing in the park they are playing in the park how sadly said they are playing sadly no they are not playing sadly they are playing happily happily the opposite of sadly is happily now as you can see here there is a web address and there you can find an exercise and these are sentences from the same web page you need to find the adjective in the first sentence and fill the gap with the adverb look at number one John or Joanne is happy happy is an adjective can you change it to an adverb happy happily Joanne is happy who is happy Joanne she smiles how does she smile she smiles happily happily is an adverb it describes the verb smiles the boy is loud the boy is loud his voice is loud he shouts verb how does he shout he shouts loudly he shouts loudly number three her English is fluent fluent you can see that fluent is an adjective because it describes her English it describes a noun she speaks English how does she speak English fluently she speaks English fluently number four our mom was angry our mom was angry she spoke to us how angrily angrily notice the spelling of angrily a n g r i l y number five my neighbor is a careless driver he is a careless driver careless is an adjective that describes the driver so how does he drive we need an adverb to describe the verb drives 
he drives carelessly carelessly as you can see on this slide we have adjectives and they are typed in green happy loud fluent angry careless and these adjectives describe nouns happy who is happy Juan who is loud the boy etc but the words in red happily loudly fluently angrily carelessly these are all adverbs of manner adverbs of manner answer the question how how does he smile happily how does he shout loudly etc we have more sentences from the same page can you try and do them okay number six the painter is awful the painter is awful so he paints awfully Jim is wonderful a wonderful piano player he plays the piano wonderfully this girl is very quiet she often sneaks out of the house quietly she goes out of the house quietly number nine she's a good dancer she dances really well notice good is an adjective the adverb is well we don't say goodly there is no word in English like that good well this exercise is simple you have to put one word in each space simply simply okay here are two more web addresses about adverbs and you can do some exercises there and learn more about adverbs now let's move to the second section of this lecture which is organization and I want you to pay attention to this because you need to write and organize your writing so we are talking about organization from general to specific so when you write you can start with general information and then give specific information for example in the reading on page 66 which we studied in the last lecture Francisco first describes the general setting he describes the place and time and he tells what he is doing then he adds specific information specific details about the characters the people in the park then he describes the action what is happening let's talk about this in more detail so when you write you can start with number one general information like what the place and time and what you are doing look at this paragraph and this paragraph is also found in the previous lecture there are many interesting places in my neighborhood place we are talking about place and time here general information one place is Oak Street Park another place Oak Street Park I am at Oak Street Park right now okay another place it's my favorite place so this is the place where you are now it's one o'clock on Saturday afternoon what time is it it is one o'clock so you mention or you talk about the time what are you doing I am sitting on a bench and writing in my journal 
okay so you can see in this paragraph we have general information about the place and the time and what you are doing at this moment okay there are also sentences about the weather because you are talking about the setting general setting today is a beautiful day it's really sunny and hot the sky is clear and bright and the air smells fresh and sweet so this is the first paragraph in the second paragraph Francisco wrote about the characters the people in the park and I hope you remember this from the previous lecture okay look at this paragraph the park is very crowded crowded with people there are many people at the park some people are young and some people are old some people are tall and some are short so you can see here Francisco is describing the people some people have short hair one old man has no hair a tall woman is standing beside him all these sentences in this paragraph are about the people in the place that you are in now the third paragraph is about action what is happening around you at that time and in that place okay there are a lot of things happening around me for example many people are exercising notice the present continuous are exercising they are walking quickly or riding their bikes there is a food stand to the right of the entrance a few people are eating okay look at the other verbs they are written in blue he is painting a young girl is playing her brother is playing they are running and jumping their mother is sitting she is watching so this is the third paragraph and you can see that all the sentences are about the actions what is happening around you so in these three slides we talked about organization from the general to the specific now let's do an exercise on this we have four sentences and I want you to number them in order from general to specific the sentences are look at the sentences I'm staying home and watching a movie it's a cold wet Saturday in Washington DC they are singing and dancing there are many people in the movie which sentence is most general the most general sentence it is this one it's a cold wet Saturday in Washington you see time and place Washington and Saturday description cold wet Saturday very general the following sentence where are you now I'm staying home what are you doing watching a movie okay so this is paragraph sentence two now what is happening around you there are many people in the movie there are many people in the movie what are those people doing they are singing and dancing so this is the order of the sentences from general to specific another group of sentences look at the sentences some people are playing football some people are relaxing do you think this is a general sentence no it's not a general sentence it's a specific detail Carson Beach is very popular we have a place here it has water sports a picnic area and food stands 
Okay, we are talking about a beach. Now, the following sentence, Carson City. We are talking about the city, oh, the whole city, not the beach. So the city is bigger than the beach, because the beach is in the city. Carson City is a very is very beautiful in the summer. It's a great place for vacation. Okay, here you can see we have Carson City is a place and summer is time. The beach is always very crowded. Many people are at Carson Beach right now. So, this is number one. General, very general. Place and time. Number two, about the beach itself. So, first the city, then the beach. Okay? Then we talk about the people and what they are doing. Okay. So, this is called descriptive writing. What we discussed in the previous uh, slides is called descriptive writing because you describe a place and you describe what is happening around you, what you are doing. So when you describe something or somebody or a certain place, you describe how it looks or tastes or smells or sounds or feels. Okay? And usually you talk about the setting and the characters and the action. Three things as we mentioned. Setting, time and place, characters, the people, and actions, what is happening around you. Let's see an example here. The same paragraphs from the other slides and from the last lecture also. I am at my favorite place. Now this is a new paragraph, in fact. You can see we have two paragraphs. One is red and the second one is green. The first one is general and the second one is specific. In the first one we have the place and time. The place and time. I am where at my favorite place. Broncato's Cafe. What time is it? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. What am I doing? I am sitting at a table and studying. Okay, now describe the place. Broncato's is a nice cafe. Nice adjective. There are many small round tables. You are describing the place around you. There are many Italian flags on the walls. Procaro is very crowded today. So you see this is a very general description of the place and the time. Okay, now this is the general description. Now the second paragraph is about the specific details. It gives the specific details. Now you will describe the people in this place, in the cafe. You see, some people are old and some people are young. You are describing the people. Some people are eating quietly. Some people are talking loudly, etc. You read this paragraph and study it carefully. Again, if you look at this paragraph, we, here we are talking about the description. You can see that we start the first sentence leaving a small space from the margin. We call this indentation. I am. You do not start at the beginning of the sentence. And my favorite place is the title, the title of your paragraph or topic. My favorite place. You can see that the title is capitalized my M capital, favorite capital, place capital. Okay? And look at all the green letters in this paragraph. They are written in capital letters. Of course, 
You know why we studied this in our first lecture. Okay? Now, the other words that are written in red are all adjectives. Yes, we need adjectives because we are describing a place. We have favorite, nice, small, round, Italian, crowded. We need to use adjectives when we describe. This is the second paragraph and you can see here also we have many adjectives. They are in red, old, young, long, clean, tall, older, etc. All these are adjectives. Now the adverbs are written in blue, quietly, loudly, happily, etc. You can also see location phrases and we also studied all of this we studied all of this in our lectures to the right of behind in front of in addition to actions actions what is happening now he is smiling the woman is giving he is giving etc now try to write something like this imagine you are sitting at a cafe right now and write a paragraph to describe the cafe. Write a paragraph to describe the cafe. Start with a general description about the place and time and say what you are doing. After that, describe the people in that place. And finally, describe what they are doing what is happening around you. Try to use adjectives. Of course, you should use adjectives, adverbs, and location phrases, just like the examples we have, we have discussed. You can order the information like this. This is an outline of the pa two paragraphs that we read in slide 20, I think, the number is 20. Olivia's note about Procato's Café, you can then refer to this. You can order your information like this, my notes, general information, where are you now, what time is it, what are you doing, general. Then specific information, describe the place and the people and what they are doing. And finally, talk about what's happening around you. Action. So when you describe a place or a favorite place, you start with what? General information, specific information, details. Which one? Okay, the answer is general information. Another question. We have a paragraph here. And one of the sentences is irrelevant. The sentence is number five. Study this paragraph carefully. Thank you very much. And see you in the, our next lecture, inshallah.